Hope you enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Tyler Asky, my latest view on, on, on Dragon Ball Super episode 060. Hey, we back to the future. Goku Black's identity revealed. You know, this episode, you know, starting off with the conversation saying when, when gods kill other gods, you know, um, and the future will change. However, it's not, it's not the same. It's not going to happen because, remember, future trunks from, from a timeline that is parallel to the one they're in now. So they won't, so it won't change the events of that timeline. But it does change the events of this timeline. So that means there's no Black Goku, no F Black Goku, no Immortal Zamas. So everything is clean. Clean. For now. Uh, but they know that the future is still in danger. Everything is going, going great, you know, overall. Well, we also get to see that Future Trunks gives this uh, speech to his younger self. Saying uh, how he, what, when he was in Hades, he didn't have the same things he had. He didn't have all his friends around him. Everyone was killed. Goku has succumbed to the heart virus. Goku has succumbed to the heart virus, so everything was, you know, uh, as you know, what you call, uh, wasn't easy. It was a dark time. It was a very dark time. If you guys haven't watched it, you can watch History of Trunks, a Dragon Ball Z TV movie, you know, overall. That was pretty interesting. That was pretty crazy, you know. Uh, seeing how, how when you see the city from the sky, you know, you get this amazing view, like everything's different overall. Uh, it's not the same, and I like the I like I future I like the future trunks you know, uh, from the start. So overall, oh it's di different, way different than before. Alright, uh, now now that he, even though they killed Zamas, it will change the effect of that timeline. Everything is completely different than it was before. Everything is now different. Now they have to wait for a long time. Have to wait, you know. Now, Boma's even coming to the future with them. Boma, it's pretty funny, you know, but, uh, how they all crammed together. Anyway, giving younger self the future thing and saying that he still has my waiting for him here, you know, overall. Uh, we knew that they were connected by fate, you know, overall. It's pretty intense. And, you know, their emotions, you know. We, we get that they're in love, you know, overall. That's one of the main things of this part, of this Black Goku saga, you know. My, my and Trunks' relationship, you know. You know. Uh, going to the future, you know, see how they squeeze into that time machine together. It's pretty funny. I mean, I mean, it was barely big enough for the free, uh, for three, and now he got Boma in there pretty hard. And we got, also gotta love the comedy, you know, overall. Goku forgetting the sense of being, being a uh, peel off and, uh, and Sha wondering, is there no, there's no future for them? Like, nobody about me. I mean, you guys are probably dead. I mean, they're probably all, de they're probably dead, so. Oh, so what future do they have anyway? Hey, staying in that child form is pretty funny. I don't know. Pretty crazy. I hope, this, I hope they do the ep do an OVA episode where we get to see them grant the wish to turn them into kids any in the first place. I wish they did that. What do you think? You know, overall. Uh, but that's my opinion. What about you? Uh, uh, so let's get started. All right, you know, overall. Uh, you know, that's something... That's something you gotta think about. Hold on. Anyway, going to the future, and uh, they, yeah, they round up. We know with the resistance, Mai is hurt. All right, it's hurt. Looks like she was about to die. Then Trunks, you know, gives her a sense of beat, but how he puts it in his mouth first and chews it up and puts through her lips, you know, uh, raw, kind of like CPR. And that's that's te that's te technically that's that is a kiss, you know, overall. Uh, technically, because you know uh, she's like bring, uh, bringing her back to life, you know, overall. Uh, using mouth to mouth. Pretty interesting. We also get to learn that Goku never kissed Chi Chi. I'm like, never. I'm like, I'm like, she's your wife. No, you never kissed it's the, her. I mean, a whole series of schemes and things. We never seen Goku kiss Chi Chi once. But then again, we never seen Vegeta, you know, do the same thing. I mean, yeah, I'm like, think about it. I mean, what the hell? Oh, I mean, we never seen it in the anime overall, but they probably did kiss maybe more than once. But, I mean, and, I mean, the first time we ever saw Kid Koku was back in the tournament. You know, you, re the t you know, at the end of the first Dragon Ball series, is when Goku was an adult. You know, overall, when he was training in the tournament. You know, that's something you gotta consider. You know, overall, uh, but not, but not this time. Not, not what you call right now, which is something you got to consider overall. Uh, I consider that the same thing. You know, uh, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Honey, I think I think it's very unique, you know, overall, but funny. We have the Roby, he's still alive. 
thanking him. However, you know, thing, peace doesn't last for long. Um, uh, my st both my statements with Maya, she recovers. You know, Trunks, Unks, uh, Trunks, Vegeta, Goku, they all go go to face Black. You know, overall, and seeing how it is, Black. You know, overall, pretty funny, pretty interesting. They get to see their future. And they finally confront Black, you know, go, Vegeta's the first to go up and say, what's the plan? Say, kick his ass. And, and that's the plan. I mean, you know, going in head first. I mean, hell, he took down Vegeta in one shot. And using that, you know, that hand blade technique, which was pretty interesting. Severe. Or all. But then things got really crazy. Zamas, they finally tell Zamas, tell Zamas, they, uh, and confront him about using the Super Dragon Ball. So it's, oh, you know. Oh, and we also know they use it to create a copy of me, a uh, fake me, you know, Goku. Say, this is not fake. This is the genuine body. This is the real Goku. The only difference is they switched minds. I'm like, now they're dealing with two Zamas, one in an immortal body and one in a body of Goku. That would explain what the hell is going on. I don't know, what's the sink? Yes, apparently, the Zamas didn't make, make, not only made his body immortal, but also did it to switch his body with that of out of Goku, switched his mind, uh, and, that, and after that, he killed him so that Goku wouldn't get his body back. However, it's pretty strange. If I were to guess that this is an alternate timeline version of Goku, cool. I guess that he used the body of the Goku that suffered from the heart virus. Now, it would make sense. Remember, when he first fought against, when Black first fought against Goku, and after he went back to future, he, well, he still had that chest pain inside of him. And that chest pain, and even though it even though it went away for a while, maybe it's because of his Kaioshin or Kai or, or Kai powers that keeping it suppressed while at the same time trying to maintain his Goku Super Saiyan form. Or right, trying to perfect his body, you know, overall over time. It's pretty slick when you think about it. All right, pretty slick and pretty sneaky. Okay, that's something you gotta consider overall. Well, uh, I think it's very unique when you think about it overall. Oh, uh, I mean, he switched bodies. He's not a fake. He's just a real Goku. And the old Goku died in the body of, uh, of Zamas. Probably the mortal Zamas. Probably the, probably the, uh, he, you know, the original Zamas, you know. But then again, it would make sense. And, and I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it's really freaky. I mean, Zamas wanted the power of Goku so badly that he switched his own body with him. And which is a big mind blower if you have not watched the show. I mean, we knew something, we didn't, we knew that there was something to Zamas and, with, and Black that was special, what their relationships were, uh, you know, but we didn't know until we got the full story, and now we do, who, who, that means that the, Go the original Goku from that body is dead, and now, and now they're gonna have to find a way to undo what has happened, which is pretty, which is a pretty grisly result, you know, overall, I feel bad, I feel bad that this happened, and one Goku is forget, and he had his body taken over by some evil bastard. It's the same thing, same thing as Captain Ginyu from the Freezer Saga. It's the same thing as Captain Ginyu. No, that's a big Easter egg there. For any Dragon Ball fan who watched, anybody who watched Dragon Ball Z as a fan, who understand what that means, uh, Captain Ginyu, you guys know what I'm talking about. You haven't, then you guys merely missed it. And you forgot, you know, overall. Captain Ginyu did the same thing, you know, overall. I really like how the series tries to change things and do things, some new things that they haven't tried before, but still gives a follow-up to the original series. You know, that's something you got to consider. And that's something I consider the best. That's overall, you know, for me. We got Evil Goku, body switching, and Super Dragon Balls, which is impressive. And anyway, that's my, all I got to say. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, thank you. This is Oliver Adams, Game of Legends Review. You are Dragon Ball Fruit. Oh, super episode 60. Bye.